Hey guys, I'm Ryan and I have been hacking things my whole life. I hope you're doing well. It's the end of 2019. I've had a really nice year. I have been back and forth on a bunch of things in terms of my health, but in terms of the progress that I've made in following my dreams of making things and talking about it on YouTube has been awesome. Thank you so much for being here. This video is about a laser cutting project, specifically the Glowforge. And what I am talking about today is making a holder to hold a puzzle box. This is something that you can make money with. Um, it's a product that I thought about making um, as a first product that I would deliver but in terms of uh, its uh, simplicity and what it does it's pretty cool so we're gonna talk about that right after this so this um, puzzle box holder turns out to be a recipe holder. If I put a little platform inside the bottom here, you can hold a little recipe. Um, but if I really want to offer you guys value because you came to this video for a Glowforge project, um, like every one of my videos, I have the plans attached. Um, it, you know, it really took a little, some time to actually create this. And and really, during that time was like, part of it was learning, but part of it was just uh, designing. And I think I'm past, now I'm approaching two years with the Glowforge. I think I'm past that time where I'm like totally making mistakes. Like I will test my slots, little tiny test slots or a, a hole or something before I make my entire design because I never know what thickness it's going to be. But prototyping is a, um, can be a discouraging process. So just understand that. Just no one's, I don't think anyone is having an easier time if you want to come up with a brand new product. It is just challenging. Um, and there's some really cool things um, on the other end of that, but if you really want to design something unique like this um, and not copy the plans off the internet or download the plans, it takes a while. Now, some people may not want to deal with that, and that's why you can buy digital plans, but I'm talking to the people that are actually designing something. If you get discouraged, it's part of the creative process. Having self-doubt, having like this will never get done, it's part of the process. Abandoning a project. One of the, 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 the tips that I've learned or I got from someone, I got it from an Uber driver, is if you just can't figure something out, right, let it go and start the next day. Somehow things kind of work out after that. Um, so that is really, really nice. All right, so let me explain this design to you. Um, it is a three-part design. Actually, it's not a three-part design. Um, it's got uh, three angle brackets in the back. And it has this extra platform that I have that if I want to put a recipe, um, I can actually put a recipe up there. The way it works is if you are doing a puzzle, the puzzle goes in here and or like this and you can, um, and you can uh, see your puzzle as you are creating the puzzle. <clears throat> if you have a board game, if you have a recipe, it will hold up your design right there. Um, and the way that it assembles is quite um, easily with friction, but you have to make sure to get that slot correctly. Now I'm gonna talk to you about the design process and what I've learned. Okay, like anything else, I use scrap wood in order to prototype. Um, here's my first version. I just had the scrap wood left over. Um, this, these are just different pieces that I've tried. Uh, you know, trying to get the angles right and stuff like that. It kind of feels nice to use scrap wood. Um, some of the stuff I burn after I'm done, but I save all of this to make keychains, little tiny keychains, um, chains after I'm done. Let me show you one of those keychains. These type of keychains are what I make. Uh, I make keychains that are for people that 
like a maybe a particular restaurant and then they have they want their name and they like sharks so i just make a keychain this is actually kind of a big one but this is what i use scrap wood for now um this here is the same exact thing except it's absolute it's painted and i use my new paint station that i made because I'm starting to avoid this nasty spray paint stuff. I'm starting to use regular acrylic paints, which is so much better for my lungs. The thickness on this is 3 16 So the plans that you can download below are 3 16 There's a link to my um, Hack Lab site. Okay, and so now let's assemble this. Um, I'm not gonna go ahead and sand it. That's not part of that. You can treat this and sand it the way you want. I'm gonna put in the top. Put in the three brackets on the bottom, and then I'm going to assemble the bottom here. And if you set, ship this assembled, you of course can um, glue it uh, and then paint it. There's, there's that. Then you're going to want to add a little bit of glue. And when this platform is not being used, it is stored up here at the top like that. And you can go ahead and probably put some, you can engrave something really nice. Um, you can go ahead and engrave something really nice up here at the top and of course this is being used for the recipe and once you slide these in and out they'll be doing so that's used for the recipe right there all right that's it whatever you do make something that connects someone have a great day guys love you i hope you have a wonderful new year take care